Howdy, folks, and welcome back to the adventures of us. Us, me and you, you and me. I thought you were going to say something. Lots for us to do and see. Them. Anyway, we got our map out for this. Actually, legit got our map out and said, "Where have we not well, been?" Hang on, you looked on you looked on your iPhone. You didn't get the iPhone get a maps. Physical. Oh yeah, but it's That's not a, a map. map. You didn't get a map. Well, I suppose you did get a map out. All right, whatever. We're living in the twenty first century, <sighs> Austin. Where do you are own we? a map? No, I, well, uh, actually, yes, I probably do. So Bugatti, they make really nice coats. They make really um, great cars too. They make fantastic cars. Bugatti. But they also make nice coats. I would recommend picking up the coats. Polo shirts, you know, depends they, what you want to do. Do they have a store in London? Yeah, yeah massive, like it's like, a legit like, thing. Yeah, like up near Harrods, near Knightsbridge. Harrods. Harrods, capital A. Um, anyway, we just we got the iPhone maps out on the Apple device for anyone who uh, needs to know technically how we looked at the maps. Sorry. Um, and we picked Gillen, Gillen, Gillenum, Gillenum. Gillingham? Gill is it Gillingham? No, Gillingham's near Ken, isn't it? Oh, now see, now I'm going to look like more. Gillen. By geographically, where we are, um, we're just we're less we're than humans. Dorset, so. we're in Dorset. Dorset, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, so we started here. Um, I have to say, this was an odd town for anyone who lives here or lives near here. Explain to me why it's so odd. It's really like, I feel like, you know, when you're like a. The village of the damned. <laughs> well, that, was, that was tough when you're like not a local i i felt i felt the heat here oh there was heat and the thing is austin does stupid things like get a whole box of ties to run me through and then i think i don't know if she's there or not yet she comes to in. my left in a minute is she coming now or she's already there no, I, I think she's already in. She um, like pretending to look at the books that she like in the store she works not in every right. day that's not, that's not her. um anyway the lady came in and, like, I was running through the ties, which I know is not a normal practice for humans. I get that. It's fine. But if you watch this, you know I like a tie on the belt, so... Very they got involved. with those ties. Yeah, they were... Well, there, there she, she is. is. There she is. The old hanging the jeans routine. She wasn't hanging anything. No, she was just fluffing she, them. Look, she's fluffing them. She was shuffling and fluffing them. Um, look, you, look, 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 she, oh, look, she's turning them around. You're actually, you're actually scaring me at this point. Um, yeah, that's all she was doing. I, I, I like, oh. I just don't get it though. Is it because we both wear hats or we look like hooligans or uh, hoodlums? Well, but even, even if both those things were true, yobs, what like yobs? I like that word. What's the difference? You I'm didn't put those I, back I, very nice, did you? Wait till I actually put them back. Tie etiquette, but always look through the ties. Oh, you know how it is. Always look through the ties, belts, oh, ties, scarves, small leather purses, um, anything of that nature will do. Thank you. Large brick and brack section. I'm particularly into brick and brack at the moment. I know I am branched out into the uh, niche market of trying to find design homework. Bethany, Bethany has bought two mugs. I, I bought life. some mugs. You bought some nice, you bought some cups the other day, and they sold. Thank you, yeah, sir. They did. Um, they did. You're but right. it's it's my absolute dream to find a little bit of Versace it, home. It's, or, it's, it's more your dream you know? to actually like. I think I have more knowledge about it as well. Not that you don't know anything about it, but I'm saying like Versace and and stuff like that is kind of is well known in what we do. But actually, to find some no no you know, about like, it in the wild, like more kind of like Tom lesser. Dixon and yeah. you know, like I'm talking the the big the big boys of the homeware world, if that makes sense. Although people are watching, I guess. Oh, hello. Um, they are watching to see what we buy or what we uh, uh, sift or thrift thrift. <laughs> thrift through in this video um oh sneaky dlc i've already been in there small leather goods people slgs always on the slgs can you tell we used to work for luxury companies slgs i know that's funny isn't it yeah how do you know you work for a luxury company without telling me you work for a luxury company i could probably t tell you what the code is for mulberry small leathers Ugh. Yeah, no, it's bad, isn't it? Anyway, so we continued on up this street. The first shop, apart from the strange stalking incident, um, wasn't very fruitful. But we, you know, we we have to give it a good go. Um, at the times like this, you wish you hadn't tried a new town. But do you know, you know, do you know what? Just look at the, <laughs> up and down that street. No hate on this actual town, but honestly, this is like what oh, time? Yeah. What time of the day? It's like I was like midday. Yeah, I've been washing my hands. Well, not washing them, but anti backing them. Good practice, anti-back. Whether, whether you hate, love, or totally into COVID, whatever you do about it, honestly, I've, I don't care. Honestly, I couldn't care less. However, I do like to have clean hands, so that, you know, that's what that's about. 
We could care less about COVID. COVID is a very serious thing. We couldn't care less about your opinion on COVID. Yes, <laughs> Let's agreed. get that straight. That's agreed. <laughs> that's that was a mighty fine belt. However, I believe it was like, it, it looked really mighty fine. And then I realised that it was a knockoff of a, um, uh, who made that belt? Cartier. Um, and it was from, uh, it was a high street brand anyway. It was it was an okay belt, but it was from a high street brand. It was worth next to nothing. They had nice hangers in the shop. Did you feel that? I felt that. They are nice hangers. Yeah. Well, they were sliding along quite these nicely. These were Laura Ashley wore newer tags, but they were £10. They were also in the sale in Laura Ashley. I know, just like... Ugh, okay. And they were a new label, obviously, for anyone, you know... Who... For the Laura Ashley people out there and the people who know a lot about Laura Ashley, which I don't, being honest. Not enough to get me through the day, that's what I would say. I dabble, but, you know... That was sounding Welsh then. A dabble. Oh, thank you. Dabble? you. I take that as an insult. It was meant that way. <laughs> so I'm like, what are we flicking through? There's not honestly. These are these aren't. I feel like I found some stuff that you're not What's featuring. This? No, no, this was earlier on. Get over yourself. Let's move on. What is this? Oh, oh, honestly, these oh. racks were dry. <laughs> Wait for you to pull something out. I could have edited loads of this out, but then you, you said the other day, just oh, this is all right. So these are vintage Timberlands. I think they're all weather gear as well. But they were six pounds. I can't even see what that says. Um, I got a pair of these to this. Yeah, and that's why I didn't buy. Them. Vintage Timberland goes really well, especially oh, that green label. Oh, we should look to the golf clubs. I got a thing about golf clubs at the moment. Everyone, everyone, everyone starts talking about golf clubs. Come on, calm down. I know, but I just you know, I just don't want to miss out on these. You know. I feel like in the, in the reselling world, every now and then there's like an item for like a few weeks or months that everyone's like, oh, yeah. that, that's what makes money. I, I call it I call it the um, to all the kind of old school resellers. I call it the Buzz Lightyear effect. Oh my god, do you that, remember that? That, that Buzz, Buzz Lightyear, Lightyear that everyone bought, and then that originally was like forty five pound a time with the belt. Yeah, with the yeah. belt. And now they're like they're like ten pound or something on eBay. If yeah, you, if, if you're lucky. That was like Ben Fitzgerald times, wasn't it? Oh, ben Fitzpatrick. I can't remember that. Yeah, but something like that. We should probably talk about the clothes. Yeah, sorry. Right, so this coming up now, this is nice. So this is what I would call a wiggle dress. You can correct me, or an illusion dress. So illusion the, dress, I like, yeah. This is Black Label by Paul Smith, That's which why it is... Says Paul Smith Black. Um, it's like, I would describe it as more like tailored wear. It has a slightly higher price point than like PS or Paul by Paul Smith. Um, £15 isn't bad for this dress. It was dress, a lovely dress, actually. But, you know, I, I, I wasn't feeling it. Um, sometimes I just don't feel things. What would be, just, just to talk money quickly, what would you expect for that if you were to About pick that up? About £75. So yeah, fine. So that it has got a really good return. It's just that i, I got to feel I, like I want to list it. I've got to feel inspired, you know, guys? This is a rib cough. Rib Joseph cough. Rib cough. Look at that cruise where it's finest now you might look at that and think that's mental and it is most of the ribcuff stuff is mental but it makes good money i think that was a bit too much you know, and rib... it was a bit too a bit too specific of a design it's a it's a ribcuff's gone down a little bit since you know recent times of the, the glory of ribcuff um it's the first light your effect yes, <laughs> i found that dress a little bit too like 80s chic yeah i agree um it was a little bit too shoulder pad layered sparkle like there was stuff which from the 80s can be a total vibe right now and that's not I, i'll be honest that's not one of them well i wanted to show you this because i like to you know knowledge bomb you this is a studio by preen now preen is a really 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 good brand p-r-e-e-n but Studio by Preen is not even a sister brand. It's a, it's a capsule collection that they create for either House of Fraser or one of those. And it's obviously a much... It's still expensive. So if you can pick it up Retail, cheap, you're yeah. going to get, you're going to get like good, like mint velvet money for it. Um, but it is, it isn't Preen and Preen is like glorious. Preen's like Alexander McQueen's sort and of like a lot Pucci. Of the, a lot of the time in charity shops, because they say, they see the word Preen, they will Google that, put that into eBay or somewhere else and see large prices mm. and they will inflate the price of those uh, kind of items. And they're not, they're not worthless. Like you say, you can make some good money on them, but they're, they're far, far, far from what you'd expect expect if you if you googled preen preen i'm just like preen. saying it this is a donkey sanctuary well, it's not an actual donkey donkey sanctuary. It's a it's a charity shop based for the i guess the betterment of donkeys, donkeys. yeah and yeah. donkey welfare I feel strongly about donkeys. I love a donkey. I don't think anyone hates donkeys. I mean, no, it was a nice shop though, wasn't it? it had some interesting things. Uh, yeah, it did actually. 
Um, what was cool about this the shop, which actually kind of was a bit of a throwback to like vintage shops across the board. All their tags, if you can see, which you can now, are playing cards, which I thought was quite a cool, quite cool. My only issue is just just thinking of the retailer and shop side. Obviously, we have a couple of shops, so we do think about that every now and then. Is the fact they'll put on my marker pen. So if I'm seeing a really nice item and I'm just kind of just going to take a marker with me, I could play it. But not just a, Who's taking a marker to a shop to change the price in a charity shop, which is for donkeys? Hang on a minute. Who's doing <laughs> Hang that? Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Roll that back. If you're looking for your item at a cheaper price, there you go. One pound and a Sharpie, you're well away. That was a Sprayway vintage um, waterproof. I'm shocked you just said that. Sprayway Why? does really well. Well, it does well. Um, Sam, it's not across the island. I oh. wanted to show you because it was horrific. It was horrific. It was, and they want they didn't want to offer it to be fair. So you know, seven pound, but it was a plastic coat with pieces of fabric. Interesting thing about heavy. Stone Island is if you're ever at a boot zone, you find like a trash piece or something that could, you don't think would be resellable. Like I don't know, just for pure example, it was like burn or something. I don't know, and it's still got the little tag on it, the Stone Island arm tag. They resell for lovely money because people like put them on uh, un unauthentic items, and yeah. you know they do what they want to do or, with or them. Or place or have extras. So uh, also definitely pick them up if they still got the tag on the little the arm. The patch. Old patch, patch. Also, Stone Island have done different colours, different uh, themes and different styles over the years as well. So uh, some um, coats, uh, jackets and even sweaters can be aged by the patch. The colour of the patch, the type of font. There's lots of things that go into that patch. It's not just a case of, oh, that's... It's a that special patch. It is. Um, and that's actually what made the brand kind of also, instantly recognisable. from the same perspective, if you find a piece with What's two this? buttons um, that's missing the patch, then you're, it's going to like, it's yeah, deflate it's the fat you. So look out for the missing patch on the buttons. This is just John Lewis cashmere. Um, any cashmere, any... Oh, I was literally going to make the rudest joke ever then. Don't. Cashmere. Any cashmere... Um, you want cashmere. Cashmere is good. Hundred percent cashmere. Pure cashmere. Pure cashmere. This is <laughs> um, pink. Why I gave you kind of a whole like disco show of the actual bottom of the jumper. Then was I was holding up the light to look for holes. I couldn't find any. Granted, I probably will when I go through it later. But there you go. It is what it is. It was only four ninety five. Which is fantastic. That's a bargain for pure cashmere. Yeah, and I thought pink as well. This, this kind of is season. This is beautiful. This is this is you know this is just sort of. Up my alley, really. I don't even know if the, oh yeah, well, see, see that sheen. It's like kind of a, a PV, raincoat, a repeat. A U, no, UPVC. It's not UPVC. It's PVC. Latex. UPVC is like what they make windows from. Um, it was kind of like a, a rubbery kind of finish, no? Coated. It's double glazed. Yep, yeah, double glazed. Mm. It's from that brand that we can never pronounce, and if you watch our videos before... Compare, Tez, and Ashen, And it looks like conditioners, but it's not spelled mm. conditioners or set conditioners. Conditioners, Tron, I can't remember. Oh. I can't be bothered. If you if you're really interested, go back, pause it, and Google it. I was showing us in this because oh god, that's an angle, isn't it? Um, I was showing us in this because it's um, uh, it's vintage, vintage O'Neill, and vintage surf brands are going particularly well on uh, places like Depop. You know, cool kids and all that. Um, I don't know why at the moment it's it's just that thing like Billabong, O'Neill, Animal. Oh, do you remember Animal? Animal, yeah. yeah. What was that thing you found out about Roxy the other day? Oh, Roxy. Oh, my God. This will blow your mind. Have you added comps in yet to this? No. Okay, Austin's going to put it right here. The Roxy logo is actually the women's range of Quicksilver. And the actual heart that everyone always thought was a heart, because I thought it was a heart, is two Quicksilver logos back to back. Mind blown. Big time. Um, we moved towns, um, and then we realised we had half an hour to uh, get on the school run. Um, that that is life. Um, so we're now in uh, Shaftesbury. Yes, it was Shaftesbury. That was an Oxfam bookshop. So we swiftly moved on. <laughs> Oxfam bookshops are really nice. I just we don't resell books, so it was absolutely pointless us delving into that little shop. However, how cute is this town? Can we take a moment for the cuteness? No, mm, no, just not really. I'm um, just thinking about what you just said about the surf as well. O'Neill, 
Uh, I heard the other day, this is just a really random statement, mm. but the guy who came up with wetsuits was called Jack O'Neill. And I feel, I don't think it's anything to do with the oh. brand, but I feel like that's where it's got its namesake from. I might be way off, but yeah, if Probably. I'm not, either way, Jack O'Neill invented it. Are pretty you much spreading the vicious rumours? No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, this was kind of cool. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Check the ties. Got, that should be a t-shirt, shouldn't it, by now? Check the ties, Check guys. Check the ties. Christian Dior. 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 Um, this was, I would say 90s. No, no way eight? in the world. Are you high? Uh, um, <laughs> like eight, eight, 85, maybe I wish. 87. Okay, sorry. Well, that's kind of like late 80s, early 90s, isn't it? But, but it's not 70s. What did you say? 90s? Yeah. No. Um, anyway, silk. It, 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 was, it was silk. It was eight pounds. Um, put it back just a bit. To be honest, honest with, oh. it was for it was it was a Harrods it was we're a Harrods in, collab. We're in sync. It was a Harrods collab. That's why I didn't. All oh, right, okay. Um, not that that's a bad thing. Don't get it twisted. Eight pounds is a bit. Um, but also I like to pick up something a bit pizzazz. I like an interesting print. I like a logo. I like a monogram. I like a bit of color. I like something to that says, "Look, I'm a Thai guy." <laughs> I'm a Thai guy. That's <laughs> you know cool. What I mean? Funny enough, just, just um, we've mentioned before, I know, but I used to work for uh, Christine Dior, and the the first thing Thank I was you. told, I did indeed. The first thing I was ever told, um, even when I I went through the interviewing process, never to refer to it as Christine Dior. It is simply Dior. Uh, it's a noise. It's not a word. It's Dior. It's a noise. They say that. It's a noise. A, it's a noise. And I, I, at that point, I thought I need to live here. Yeah, it was kind of cool. That was cool. Dior was cool though. I didn't like Dior. Dior. Um, I, you know you didn't, but you work cool places too. Um, that, that really sounds like I worked at lesser places. No, <laughs> you were like, oh yeah, you, you, worked, of, you cool, work cool places too. You worked at cool places. Knock off, yeah, off, yeah. off white. No, you work for like the best people in the universe. We all know that. I worked for Gucci. It took me three months of interviewing to get that job. Not because that was I'm long, not because I'm really crap, but because no, no. the interviewing process it's was three months. months it's long. three months. There's like four interviews. And they're usually kind of like three, four weeks between each interview, uh, kind of set of interviews. Yeah, you like you, you like every single level of the company you have to interview for. The worst bit is the higher you go, the longer it takes. Like, I've got you, a head you, you, Yeah, that. that's what I'm saying. It, it was, and yeah, that's exactly my point. Mm. This is rough on the rails right now. Rough on the rails. However, on the other side of the room, I'm having a really good time. Are you? Yeah, I am. I love this shop more than I've loved any shop in a fair while. Just because you weren't having a nice time doesn't mean I wasn't. Just saying. Hashtag that's our life. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. There's my knees covered with jeans. What more do you need? I don't know why this this hadn't been edited out. It's beyond me. (laughs) How long? Oh, that's why. They are lokes. They're very small blokes, lokes. Do you get female lokes, probably? Yeah, I suggest. Um, they are lokes. They were very small size, so I didn't bother. They were £10, which was cheap. However, folks, on the bottom, I don't know if I show that. Yeah, I do. It's been resold, which isn't usually a problem. It's been resold by Timpsons, which are a massive kind of... Resoling like, snobs, we are. Yeah. Um, if you, uh, It sounds really funny. If you ever see things which are resold by companies like Timpsons, resoling is fine, but usually like try and get non-branded <gasps> stuff. Look at this. Beautiful. I'd already seen it. I told him to look at it. She gave me the heads up, folks. This is a coach... A shoulder bag. Now I say that loosely. It's got a crossbody strap, but I would call it a shoulder bag because the it's a shoulder bag. It's just yeah, because it's an additional too. strap. Um, super cute. Um, a nice tan brown leather there, half moon shape. Um, these retail. The retail on these are quite high. I love the patches that come in coach badge. This was in really good condition. To be honest with you, it probably would have done a nice hundred and fifty pounds. Um. Uh, it's nice it's really nice you normally see a lot of like the cc monogram coach bags um it's nice to see a full leather beauty sitting there uh, uh but they wanted 55 pounds so we move on yeah 55 35 Fif- 35 i don't know you might have showed the tag it was 35 oh okay in the cabinet is a mulberry that mulberry dates from the early 2000s it has a really nice component strap if i could take the strap off and resell the strap i would make probably about 200 pound on the strap yeah it would be um, the bag. and it had also had a metal thing this is really cute if anyone can tell me anything about this company i probably will google it was it, vintage it's was from cute. france it was lovely and this this was this was a really nice piece too so i probably will have a know, little google i'm gonna try and stop picking up pieces we 
we cannot pronounce just for the ease of Or we could learn to pronounce them and, and be good citizens. Uh, I'm not buying what you're selling, lady. Oh, do you like that T-shirt? I love how you picked up a T-shirt that says 10K Babe. It was a Nike T-shirt. Vintage, <laughs> actually. It would have looked really nice on you. Yeah, babe. <laughs> this was... Wally. Whoa. 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 Bethany talks every now and then like she's from the East End of London. So I it's whoa. I as slip opposed in and out. Wool. It's like a really weird thing. Um, I love how the Welsh guy is talking about accents. I go like into <laughs> loads of different accents because everyone I know is from different places. This is beautiful. This is Theory. Theory is not a brand to be slept on. People sleep on Theory because comps on eBay are shocking. They are. That's because people price incorrectly, guys. Theory's having a little bit of a resurgence, so a lot of the influencers are currently promoting it. And they do make a lot of boring stuff, like black trousers and things like that. But that was a very contemporary piece. It was like a knitted vest top. A little bit of a race about detail. I would have styled it with a bikini on a nice IB for Ireland. Speaking of boring black basic pieces, mint velvet... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's just a black vest. Uh, even I this saw was, the this line was of black a, a, vest. This was older men velvet with the velvety tag. With the velvety tag. Wool London, going back to that one quickly. Wool London's great. They do concentrate a lot on Pima cottons, um, which obviously have a, they have like a, a cult following, I yeah. would say. I do pick it up if it's cheap enough. It's they normally, have like their fan base. Yeah, it's normally plain pieces. Sort of like Kettlewell, but like not. Like a bit more chic? Chic Kettlewell. Yeah. Yeah. If that's a thing. I, I don't even know if it's Kessel or sh- like not, 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 not chic. That's not chic. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, it's, 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 it's all perception, isn't it? Oh, um, there I am with the nice knitted thing. I've been telling Austin off recently for angles. He needs to work on his angles off Look at me. That, straight in there. Max Mara, 100% silk. Um, I don't know how much it was. Once again, This was quite one. cool. Look at that. This was a top, but I'm being really like stupid with the... Yeah, it was, was like hanger. cow neck, I think. It was a cow neck. Um, how much would that have gone for? Uh, resale? Go on, talk about putting me on the spot. I would have done that probably 80. It was Max Mara, Max Mara, though. 80 to 125. Yeah, 100% circle would have. Um, the thing is, the more contemporary stuff obviously goes quicker and sells for slightly more. The older stuff, even if you if you don't look at it and say necessarily that's really fashion, it's the diehards who buy Max Mara and usually, to be quite frank, spend on it. Yeah. They don't mind, do they? No. I think sometimes, and we do all the time, we do it in this video 10 times, if you don't particularly think it's fashionable or enjoy it yourself, you get a bit carried away and kind of start, you know, mm-hmm. mugging it. But it sells, so there you go. Um, the, the time crunch is just about to hit, by the way. This is why we start speeding up. That was a Nike. What time crunch? No, it wasn't well, time crunch. Well, to get back to the was school. A, a, early to mid-2000s Nike. The problem was there was nothing outstanding on the back, which I checked, or there's no spell out, so meh. Next. I'm talking about our lifetime crunch and the fact that we need to pick up our small human. I'm talking about the time crunch in our lives. Honestly, I I, have, I, have, I don't know what you're talking about. Right, we'll just move on then swiftly. Yeah. I do not know what you're talking Sky about. Sky remotes? Beautiful. For remote controls can do good. We don't specialise in them, so you won't be even pretend like I do. But once again, it all really links back. A high-end stereo system, a high-end remote probably going to have a bit more value than a normal remote. That, on the other hand, was someone which was totally, <laughs> totally terrible <laughs> and very cheap. Probably from a non-brand set. These were cool. I picked these up because they look oh, like... You should look at comps of Blood these. stones. I will. I'll put them in Blood here. stones. Blood stones are the uh, Australian boots that I wear every day. I'm wearing them in this video. I'm going to show you them right now. There, there they are. are. Um, I love my... my oh, I just love them more than I love well, anything else in my life. I'm not saying no other boots do this because quite a few brands do, but a quick way to... Kind of recognize uh, bloodstone bloodstones is uh, they have like you know the the pull at the back of your shoe to pull it on they have one at the front as well with, yeah. the, with the tongue would be on the chelsea boot australian they are um but they, they resell are. really well and we have resold many a pair in our time however if you do get a size six to seven please notify me before you notify anyone else i always call the black brand bloodstone but it's spelled B L. and no it was not t is it's d B-L-U-N-D, stone. Blund. Blundstone, yeah. This is annoying. beautiful. Oh, my goodness, Austin. Who likes the inside of my shirt? That's what I'm asking. Hopefully, she. there you go. What was I showing anyway? That's pointless. These oh, shoes. These, these were meant to look like uh, Adidas Craft 4Ds, which go for about £130. They didn't. They were like uh, £7. I was just showing them because, well, there wasn't much else to show in the shop, to be honest. 
Hmm. Thank you. It is a British Heart Foundation. What can you expect? Well, when you find something here, it's usually about you know seven thousand pound. No, it's not. I, I lie. There's some good stuff to be had here, and like in all charity shops, you've got to know what you're looking for. Um, but we didn't have much of a look in this place. There was, I think, no, 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 I don't think there was anything really. Um, it, it was quite dry today, wasn't it, across the board? You know what Do you know what? That last that cancer research shop was wonderful. It really brought kind of, me yeah, life. Saved life. Um, however, trying two new towns is a risky move. Um, I didn't, it's not risky, that sounds silly, but, you know, I like to do a new town and an old town, so then I can know I'm going to get something potentially... And does that make sense? Yeah, I'm grabbing something yeah. across the rail here. This was really nice. It was like it was like a, a kind of techie fleece. Um, we are really well made, and I, it's not. I couldn't find the label. Anyway, the we really the have to learn said, to like um, end our videos in a sexier manner. Like, I feel like, and, you know, so that's not sexy. Quite a bit of pizzazz or something. Instead of we like we're Honestly, like. I think the, the <laughs> most unsexy we'd ever heard in my lifetime would be what pizzazz. Pizzazz, pizzazz. Come back next time for some pizzazz. Or maybe just don't.